Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today I'm back with the uh, week 3 of my TTS uh, run with the Newmans uh, for the season 10. So uh, in this game I'm playing against Pierce Cat, um, playing with Warriors. Uh, this time too it's going to be a fairly different uh, style of game than the one against Webs from my round 2 as the sector is going to be really different. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> so um, my opponent's playing a fairly standard uh, webs list. Uh, so they want prio, they chose their extracts because uh, their extracts only have one, uh, mostly one, like there's paranoia cubes and uh, spider infected. So two of them have only the uh, single extract on the midline, which is great as it lets them, um, this amazing Spider-Man to do all the fun stuff, right? Which is a, uh, pick up the middle and then run away. <laughs> Safe extract plays, right? The, the, the key of uh, having success in MCP off first scenario play often. Uh, you don't need them in every list, but I, I have personally cannot play without them. Um, I know some people can, but I can't. My, what to bring a little bit, right? Uh, initially, I've got Crystal, Pyro, Miss Marvel, Sam, and Black Bolt chosen. And then I realized against Web Warriors, it's mostly gonna be physical attacks. And um, I don't expect to uh, be able to output that much damage offensively. So the throw from um, Bees is probably going to be more relevant than uh, Crystal's uh, effects. Crystal does have the range 4 attack with slow and the uh, range 4 push, which are great against webs. But I feel like I'm going to get more out of uh, Miss Marvel's and Beast uh, than her. But it's real close. Um, I'm also scared that if they use uh, Amazing Spider-Man's leadership, which they should in this on this map. Great map for it. Uh, the B secure plus uh, F extract is a great setup for it. Um, makes that long move a little bit less exciting. And I'd rather have the tankier model in B as I'm expecting mostly physical attacks, right? But on my side, I'm fairly decided. Um, I'm not sure Smash is necessarily the right call uh, considering the terrain layout, right? If you look at it, there's not gonna be that much stuff but uh, with Miss Marvel, I just default to bringing it. It's rarely the wrong choice. Uh, my opponent ended up with Amazing Spider-Man, Logan, Gwen, Wong, and Miles. Going with Amazing Spider-Man's leadership, be good on that scenario shape as mentioned. To be fair, uh, we were talking about it and my opponent did mention that uh, they have not used Amazing Spider-Man's leadership often. See, personally, instead of Logan, I would have went with Dr. Voodoo. Um, I know that Logan with cubes is nice because he heals back the damage, but I just favor the uh, extract steals and drops over uh, healing the damage personally. Especially that with Wong, you can already kind of like mitigate that. So I would have personally went, yeah, so I would have personally went with Dr. Voodoo, but there's some fair arguments for Logan. So for deployment, I pretty much expect my opponent to send Amazing Spider-Man in the center to pick up that cube. Um, I don't have any set plan yet. I just know I'm gonna drop my models in random spots. <laughs> I know this sounds weird uh, to say, but um, like for instance, like I deploy Sam to like one of the sides because I know he's gonna be going somewhere. He's super mobile, so I don't, I don't feel like it matters as much where he goes. Um, once Miles comes down, um, I figured might as well send Beast near Miles. I don't really wanna attack Miles, but if anything, I might wanna throw him at some point and Beast is great at that. One comes out on the other side. The one thing that tells me is that that might be the side that Amazing Spider-Man shifts to. Um, uh, with his um, extract, just because then he can get healed, uh, which can be annoying. There's not much to uh, figure out yet. Like I find that both teams are fairly mobile, so where mo models go, the only model that's really not mobile is like Black Bolt. Um, but I just basically want to send Black Bolt on Wong's side because that's where Amazing Spider-Man might end up and I'd rather just be able to shoot him at some point. Hopefully get some damage in, you know, days, days stuff. Purvis is gonna try to go as much in the center as possible so that no matter where Amazing Spider-Man goes, I can hopefully firewall him on round one. Depending on where Amazing Spider-Man ends up, I might also like uh, use airlift off of Sam to do it. Like I did not place him within two, but like I'm fine with Sam moving, airlifting, and then moving, like moving to then move again and airlift if needed. Like um, I want to keep that option open. So ideally, my Sam should have been maybe a bit more close to center so that I can easily airlift Pyro on run one. 
on one action instead of using two like I might need to if I do it now. Earlish Day is amazing, by the way. <laughs> uh, I find people don't use that ability enough on Sam. It's pretty broken. All right, so as expected, uh, we see the amazing Spider-Man play, which uh, is nothing super surprising, right? I guess Sam's gonna pick up the cube and then shift to a side. Personally, I don't I have a pr I don't know where he's gonna go. I'm just waiting to see. As a second player in that situation, just have to react. The nice thing is the way the um the van is set up, um they can't really go on the secure on that side. They could on the other one, but I have a feeling that they wanna go near where Wong is, and that seems to be the case with how he's offering his tool. He ends up going, uh, you know, I can't re he can't reach it this round, so might as well just grab cover and still be uh, mostly safe. Um, the nice thing for me is now it means that uh Pyro's gonna easily be able to fire well. And we've been looking at options like depending on whose power I want to get it from, right? Like do I want to grab it off of Miss Marvel? And I could grab it off of Miss Marvel or Sam. Like well Miss Marvel after move Sam otherwise straight away. The one thing to note is the way I'm set up, um, I'm not gonna be able to um do everything I'd wanna do. Which is charge with Sam and then do other stuff easily. Like I could but um there's one thing that's awkward is I have to keep in mind that my opponent has Gwen and Miles with advanced R&D and Wong. So like they're both going to have power, an extra power, and then they can do plays on my back B if I don't protect it. Well, my back B, my left side B, right? Like um, this is really like for my opponent, this is where he's got plays. And for me, what I'm looking at is mostly... Uh, this. Um, I could potentially attack with these guys, but this seems more iffy. But this, this is really what I'm looking at, and uh, I'm expecting potentially threats over here. So I want to protect from those threats and um, do my own game plan. And that's why, right here, if you look at it, uh, Miss Marvel could like it ASM, but like ASM is gonna have cover. And he rerolls any number of dices and it's only four dices and my push is towards me so like nothing and he's like gonna get blocked by the terrain so like nothing great we just go um with beast pick up the 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 cube and go at the back of the point that way uh gwen cannot in a single move get to beast single like move action get within fourth beast right because if you're more forward a long mover can but in that position they can't and i transfer sam's power to uh pyro um this might be like a bit more surprising to most because right i'm talking about sam charging and all that stuff but with the way because of those threats with gwen and miles um to attack my b point right on round one i know i'm keeping sam as my last activation for the round which is not what i like to do but it is what i need to do in this game because if i don't gwen can uh double move web line beast off of the point take the point and then that would create a not an impossible to beat but a potentially really obnoxious victory point lead for my opponent right because if they do that then we're talking about and then if i've already moved uh Tom somewhere else we'd be looking at like a six tree um victory point difference right and that can be pretty problematic so here we see one doing the stand there not doing not moving and give out a bunch of get, meditate twice and then give power so i'm just looking at like uh options and all right so the game did crash uh that's why like you're gonna see it's gonna be a little weird for a moment um and now all our tokens are gonna be messed up because of it so uh the streamer mod is not as useful and, like you won't be able to see the um conditions and all that on models and it was activated it's a bit of chaos uh but it, it is what it is here i'm not gonna waste any time i'm just gonna straight up firewall because like right you always want to like when you're playing second uh, you always do the stuff that you know you can do that like no matter what is going to be the same or you know proactive plays this is like a pretty proactive play i know i'm going to be doing it i know i want to keep sam for last i don't know yet what i want to do exactly with miss marvel and black bolt it's going to be probably pretty straightforward but like don't want to see right depending on what logan does uh maybe it creates openings same with like gwen or miles i want to i want to have a better understanding of what the situation is going to be looking like i was going to move um pick up the cube he's also i think going to be standing a bit more back All right. he's looking at like could he like make it and the answer is no uh, you need a medium base uh, medium mover to get there 
um, or like a long mover like Gwen, but Miles cannot do it. But that's fine. Um, Miles, Miles is gonna have a bunch of fire next round to do annoying stuff. I'm still looking at that. Uh, <laughs> I really want to at some point throw a shield into Amazing Spider-Man just because I can't. I could, but um, I don't want to do this too fast because of Gwen. Right? If I go with Sam, then and don't stand on the secure. Even if I stand on, like if I stand on it, Gwen could like come contest it and like display someone to like contest it fully, which would make the game 5-3. Or if I just don't stand on it, she could just move and like mess me up. Her Black Bolt is gonna move forward. Uh, that should put me in range of hitting ASM. To be honest, I expect ASM to just move away <laughs> next round, like first thing, like as pretty much a first activation or so. Uh, maybe he could stand there and tank a little bit, but if he does, then Pyro's got like some free shots in him. Um, maybe he gets the wild, and then if an amazing Spider-Man burns, uh, I get to Pyrotechnics him, and then it gets really complicated for my opponent. Here we're gonna get Logan to move up, grab his cube. Uh, my opponent's gonna, game is gonna crash again. All right, so you picked up the cube. Um, game like crashed a little bit uh yeah sometimes sometimes it gets glitchy you know glitchy it's not the end of the world the, the mod is still amazing for having played like mo so many games on it uh it's amazing sometimes it crashes like this now uh the waste position i cannot strike him i could go after amazing spider-man but it doesn't sound great with miss marvel so we're just gonna place her within one of the canister next round she's gonna have power for a throw or ambigin she's gonna place like a little bit better like right behind the um, black bolt within one of the canister right like super super simple stuff oh well, my opponent only has gwen left and i have some so they cannot do um any fancy web line play with Gwen without getting punished by Sam, which is uh, pretty nice for us. And that's why I was keeping Sam for last, so that I would have counterplay if they did something. Because of that, um, and having playing second, I get to uh, dominate. Kind of like when you play second, you always get to um, have the advantage on the secure plays, right? Um, so here, I could try Gwen, right? Um, if I do, I could potentially push her off the point. Not that it's super relevant because if I do, uh, Miles is still on it, so. And I don't feel like dealing damage to Gwen is really gonna help me out as she doesn't hold an extract. And if I give her more power, it just means she can do more annoying stuff in the future. The cool thing for me by um, going here and shooting Gwen too, I'm gonna be on the secure. Uh, which is an extra power and that's why i end up going for it right like even though i'm saying it's not great like it's not like if shooting amazing spider-man is really better right so i end up going after uh gwen because why not i don't have anything great here to do i don't deal any damage uh which is fine by me so power phase we put on like uh we should have done it at the cleanup but you know still used to the power face cube things um putting up power for the canisters our opponent gets to go first um i'm assuming i'm assuming this amazing spider mans gonna run away which um i'm fine with because uh it means that they're not doing anything crazy either with their activation right they're just running away and then i have pseudo priority as in like they're doing something because they kind of feel like they have to and because they couldn't go where they wanted last round so I got to punish that perfectly, if you want, right, with the um, firewall. So now I assume Amazing Spider-Man is going to run away towards uh, Wong. One thing to note here that I'm not sure what my opponent's going to decide to do, but that I personally would consider is using, uh, I know they won't do it, using wheat, wheat, wheat cakes right away to heal Amazing Spider-Man for one, remove the um, slow. And then uh, that, I'm not sure if they... They're in a good position for it, but then if the like I would look before doing it if the long move would get them on the other side of the truck, then I would um, consider doing it and also healing Miles, right? Because then it means that your amazing Spider Man is full out, so don't have to slow anymore. Looking on the distance that this covers, the long probably gets uh, over the truck, but they didn't measure it first. I always pre measure stuff before making a choice if possible. Sometimes you don't think about it too, but like that's fine, right? They're gonna double move get where they want, which is on the other side here, um, on the objective. Um, but I'm happy with this because now I kind of get to start going for my standard plan. And I'm just going to collapse the right flank now. For me, like there's three cubes on that side, right? There's mine and both of the, all two of theirs. So there's already three cubes. I know I'm going to bring beast over at some point, 
too, if possible. Right, like I just want to collapse the side the uh, the bring Amazing Spider-Man on. It's what I'm thinking right now. So here, um, I'm gonna really need play with Sam. Uh, one thing I should have done is probably gone with Beast before Sam. Um, to be honest, but I was scared. I'm scared basically of Amazing Spider-Man's leadership right now. Uh, messing up uh, Sam and Beast and messing up my option to collapse. But I'm gonna go with Sam first. Uh, the reasoning is Beast is pretty tanky and if he goes into Beast with like Miles, um, it's not gonna be super efficient because he's kind of far back. Like um, I'm still scared of him like just moving like Gwen and being annoying and like slowing me or something. But I have a feeling that um, this might not happen right away. And I have like some counter plays. Like Beast moving short can still double move. Like throw someone and then double move and it's not so bad. Um, so Sam's going to charge and airlift uh, Pyro. But airlift on Pyro is insane because it's going to let Pyro attack this round once instead of just double moving. And I also get to uh, throw a Frisbee <laughs> into, well, a shield into Amazing Spider-Man. I did get some damage through, which is neat because it means that I get to push Amazing Spider-Man if I want. I am not in this case because as I've mentioned, Pyro can attack him later. But I do get a shot into uh, Wong with a ricochet. Uh, Wong blocks like cr like blocks three <laughs> on two dices. Um, I did roll five on four, so like, you know, uh, we're both like rolling uh, really good, really hot on that shot. And he evens out, he takes two. Uh, gets pushed. Um, I'm fine with this. Like if you look now, the, the great thing is really uh, where um, Pyro is because Pyro went um, like this. And that means that now I'm going to be able to move um, somewhere around here and then get uh, maybe a beam into Logan and uh, Amazing Spider-Man, which is huge because uh, with the fact that I've got the wild uh, trigger to uh, incinerate, um, which is harder to get against Amazing Spider-Man, right? Because of witty banter, but uh, still, it gives me some pretty good chances of uh, getting incinerate. If I get some incinerates off, it's pyrotechnics that comes online. The other crazy thing is if I get both in a beam, uh, as long as one of them burns, I'm gonna make both burn because of Pyro's uh, fire manipulation ability. I might be misquoting the name. Let's see, so here, here I'm really scared, right? Like when my opponent's looking at Miles and like being like, mm, I could web, web line forward, a web swing to do a web line kick. I don't like that, I, I but I don't mind the web line kick uh, too much. It would be annoying, but it's not like the end of the world. The one thing that scares me is um, if they think about going like web line kick, like move, move, slow. <laughs> like I'm really scared of that. I'm like Gwen, like Gwen could like move slow B and then like push beast towards miles and that would be annoying like it's not it's not gonna be game losing like game losing but it could be pretty obnoxious but um i'm hoping my opponent to uh, mostly be focused on like using long or something or logan like i'm trying to not to activate my models on the right side too much because if logan goes and strikes some one of them and like dazes them because he spikes i get prio after right if they they like black bolt or pyro or miss marvel like i'd rather not that happen but if it does i'm fine with it thankfully my opponent um instead is mostly worried about keeping amazing spider-man alive um so he's gonna move wong and heal him that's reasonable um i think it's okay if they also plan on collapsing the right side uh, with Miles and Gwen. But if they plan on trying to hold the secures on the left side, I think not slowing Beast is a pretty big mistake and going with someone to do it. like Or like going with Miles and like just making me drop the extract or something. Like there's probably, I feel like there's a better line uh, on the left side to punish me. In my mind, it's with Gwen uh, because she doesn't hold an extract. So you could move um, slow Beast, displace him with a web line and uh, be obnoxious, but they don't. Um, I'm looking at Pyro here. I see that I've got the uh, insanity beam as we're gonna call it, which is something I wanna do at some point. But I don't have, um, because of witty banter um, and it only being four dices, I feel like it's gonna have way more success if I can do it uh, with all the dices. Um, so I'm gonna use leadership to feed him a power to uh, get to three for stoke the flames and I'm gonna run beast away. As I've mentioned, I wanna collapse uh, everything on the right side. So my opponent has two ways to react. He can either go for the free secure or um, sort of, right? And collapse his models too. If I were him, 
I would look at collapsing um, because I think that I'm uh, going for the secures is a low ga losing game plan. Like it's winning for now, but I don't think it's even winning. It might not even be winning by the end of the round and it's probably bad for next round. All right, so now I'm looking at uh, Pyro uh, with three power. So we get the uh, Stoke the Flames value. I set up where I want to do my beam, place myself pretty much on top of it. So now boom, Stoke the Flames, beam into both of his models it could have been an option for my opponent to go spider tracker here but if they do they might just um not be in range for witty banter or something right so six dice is going into logan first because why not we get both double wild on the first shot um doesn't happen every time but when it happens it's nice logan blocks four um <laughs> i think oh well we've got the witty banter if he wants uh which is gonna happen the reroll one so no damage goes through on logan but we do get the incinerate so we incinerate both models which is uh what we were looking for now we get to do it into amazing spider-man um we get four successes which is pretty nice to my opponent's three uh before rerolls uh still three after um they do not witty banter to keep some power on amazing right because he's rooted so like witty banter costing two makes it so much more awkward here i just re-verify um pyrotechnics is an active card but it doesn't have to be done during pyro's turn as i expected as i remembered to be fair like i've always played it that way just always double checking uh in those uh tournament games right you want to be sure you're not making a dumb mistake so now i've got pyrotechnics online uh with two models that are incinerated holding objectives within Trift pyro um my opponent uh still if he goes with logan like he could like attack pyro i guess try to daze him but like doesn't sound great could go try to go after um black bolt but if he dazes him he's still incinerated and he's not going to be running away so we'd still pyrotechnics him after like it just seems like there's nothing great for logan to do except maybe like run away or something probably running away actually like which doesn't sound great but it's probably the right call um they could still like now that both models are incinerated i think um collapse like bringing gwen over to help out would make even more sense um instead they're gonna go for the secure again um holding the secure right if it weren't for pyrotechnics this would not look as bad but because of pyrotechnics i think this is a terrible choice because now okay they're gonna be holding three secures for sure but um i'm gonna be having probably four cubes now and uh four cubes is a lot of cubes means that i'm gonna be scoring five this round um to their looking at a nine nine score and then I'm gonna have all the extracts, so they're gonna be forced to chase me to try to take them away. But then, uh, as they try to do that, I get to then play the secures. So um, here we're gonna see what I consider to be like my kind of like game-winning move, if you want. Um, throw techniques on both. Start him with Amazing Spider-Man. Grab that cube, push him away, and we do the same thing with Logan. And now we've got miss marvel we can move up or we could do it with black bolt if miss marvel did and reach right uh, the nice thing that miss marvel can is that now um, i get to spread out my cubes a little bit so that black bolt isn't holding three next round um because that could be really awkward we are place at max one from the furthest cube pick up both i get to run away with miss marvel my opponent's gonna be in a really really tough spot considering where to move with miss marvel probably could have moved um a little bit more to the left but that seems like a fine spot like i want to be away from the danger like i want to be away from logan so i want to be in a position that if logan like chooses to like go crazy and like die of my b my my canister like i want to be able to bring black like be sure that i score it with black bolt and miss marvel this is not looking great for me um my opponent has like two dead models on the left side not doing much um and i've got some insane positioning on the other side really i find that um that play like completely shifted the momentum of course maybe i would have like i could have rolled no wilds on both attacks or like just one and then it gets like pretty bantered every time or something right there, there could have been like it could have not gone that well but um if it didn't then i always had like next round to retry or something but 
um, it worked perfectly. Had it not worked, then I would have had a different play also with Miss Marvel. If everything like inched on this, but like I always say, seizing the opportunities is part of the game, and uh, you gotta set yourself up for those opportunities, right? So here, Logan is looking to set up. Um, now Logan is also incinerated, right? So he, I guess he has to respect my offense a bit from Black Bolt. He chooses to not go within four of Black Bolt, but still in the objective, be within in range for attacking Pyro next round i'm fine with this fire wasn't holding an objective the way i see it um that means my opponent is not going to be really putting pressure on my extract holders and that's probably going to win me the game the way i see it there i do want to move black Bolt a little bit forward um so that he can do some offense but i want to stay in range of sacrifice of miss marvel but if i need to i can sacrifice um a shot into a well a shot from her into like black Bolt, which isn't ideal or like the other way around like there's a there's a few options i'm i'm looking at um but it's mostly this, right? I want to make sure that Black Bolt and Miss Marvel are within two of each other so that I can uh, sacrifice for next round. Um, one thing to note here is my opponent has um, got to get somewhere, but no exceptional healing for his um, Logan. I can daze him not. He's kind of easy to daze, right? And now these two models for me, um, while they don't look that close, can threaten those points if needed, right? As I was mentioning, uh, well, now that I have the four extracts and it's 9 9 score, um, I've got plays to threaten these, all of these secures. And my opponent needs to bring his forces to attack um, these three models, right? The thing is, he has no one in range to double tap right now. And that's where I think uh, some errors were made probably on the last round for my opponent. But like Logan would have probably, should have probably given up on that secure and just been more aggressive. If Logan is like say here, then it's a different game. Um, but now what what I'm looking at is uh, ASM is like needs to move to then attack, right? Um, well, he doesn't even want to strike this guy, but like if he wants to go over here or something, Wong is not going to be doing anything offensively. Uh, Gwen needs to move if she wants to attack Beast. Uh, Miles uh, Miles could web swing and kick Beast. That's the only actual threat, but like Beast has four life left. Uh, he's got his three rolls. He's likely to be able to tank it. It's not 100% sure, but it's looking good. And if I can hold my cubes and uh, sneak in some extra secures, I am in a position where I could potentially win. Um, of course, my opponent can maybe um, stop me from holding all of this, right? But this is all potentially what can happen, right? Nothing is certain yet. But there's a lot of good stuff that I like in my position and... Um, I'm not sure there's that many good ones going on for my opponent now. That pyrotechnics really uh, shifted everything into a crazy position for me. So here my opponent still has priority, which is nice. So we see uh, Logan go in into uh, Pyro. It makes sense, right? Um, but see, that's what I like for my position. They didn't go with the um, the the play they went for. Is that uh, by not doing the best at what I do, they don't get a throw. Uh, right away they don't get to like set up like a crazy beam by dealing damage or anything but i'm less a fan of it i think a beam into uh black bolt and miss marvel would have probably been ideal but um instead they're gonna now go into uh, miss marvel with uh, the best at what i do i end up i'm gonna take it because uh the way i see it if Miss Marvel dazes, I have Black Bolt with a billion power to try to daze Logan without having to move or anything, so I don't get I have to deal with gotta get some air. I probably daze him, get the cubes on Black Bolt, and I'm still, f and then I get priority for next. If he doesn't daze her, then I feel like I might just win. <laughs> and the odds feel like uh i'm likely to not get these i might be wrong on this um but this is what it feels like so now um the throw goes in um at this point um i was fine with dazing on the attack but if i can survive with brace the throw i think it makes even more sense to do that um i think it makes sense right like uh for the reason i just explained now i do get to yeah i do get uh to go with miss marvel um and begin and get back into sacrifice range, uh, which is now, um, I I probably would still like the sacrifice option if needed. And see here I look, I see Beast is in range to like move, throw uh, Miles and then move again. Can play this as a defensive play at some point if I need to, after 
the MBIG in play, right? Like, I'm obviously going to go... With, uh, the, the thing that I consider, right, is if I do this and I can bring back beasts in range of, like, um, sacrifice for uh, Miss Marvel. But if I do that, um, and Miles might be able to get, like, Miles can probably move uh, web line web swing and then do a web line kick into beast and then uh if he gets a wild show beast into miss marvel and then if he's lucky days is both and then like it's it becomes a nightmare for me so i want to avoid this like <laughs> this is definitely something i'd rather avoid like this whole sequence i just explained i don't want it to happen to be honest if i don't want this to happen what do I do? Is a great question. I'm not 100% certain, honestly. It feels like I've got a few options that all feel decent, but none of them feel insane after outside of Ambigan, right? Um, obviously, because the Ambigan play is just gonna make everything kind of simple um, because I can do this. Now, my opponent has the chance of doing gotta get some air, but my goal with uh, Miss Marvel right now is mostly um, to reposition say in a safer spot um, away from away from uh, beast a little bit so that like I don't just eat a beast into the face from a from a miles kick and days that way because that could be pretty bad and um, days Logan would be good just to like score that secure right I did drop uh, in humans royal family the logic is um that's one way of making on it almost certain that beast doesn't daze i say almost because there's i mean if my opponent goes for the spender i might still daze okay, so i'm big in miss marvel doing and big in miss marvel stuff so um four successes on the first shot logan blocks zero so he takes four uh we're looking good on dazing him now uh, i do roll this call here sadly my opponent only has two block well only He's got two blocks. Uh, after the uh, big girl rerolls, um, we already daze him. Uh, with Logan being dazed, and now uh, after the Ambigan transform, right? You see, now Miss Marvel is in a decently safe spot. I transfer power to Black Bolt here because I want to make sure that Black Bolt has enough power to um, do all of his nonsense if needed, right? I want to be able to threaten a Master Punch if needed, but mostly just uh, do boosted builders into like amazing spider-man or something so remember my opponent now has two threats still if you want like um amazing spider-man and uh miles in terms of victory point um instead of amazing spider-man there isn't really anything that threatens my cubes on miss marvel or black bolt anymore so i only have uh to worry about and beast is only in danger from miles and like for miles to threaten beast he probably needs to like web swing move and then spender I like web swing strike strike and pray pray <laughs> he gets the damage through right like something along those lines or maybe web swing spender works um but based off of the distances um i think maybe not but maybe it does if that does it could be awkward but um basically the way i see it um if miles like needs to like try web swing forward at max distance um the range tree is bigger than a medium move so then he probably cannot get back on the objective and then he's like a little bit more in the middle of nowhere with two cubes maybe we can uh like daze him or set up a daze for next round uh and that's the worst outcome if he days his beast because beast stuff is for life left a bunch of power and they reroll any number of dices of course against the spender this is less good but um it's still an option with all webbed up and uh i think there's like ways for my opponent to daze beast with miles um but another thing to note here is if that happens i get prior next round which could let me engineer um, the days onto Miles probably, right? Because Miles would have like one or two life left and then uh, Sam can probably do stuff. Um, anyways, this is all options, but uh, you know, my opponent is like thinking about what to do next. Um, there's not that, like, any, that many great plays, right? There's uh, Amazing Spider-Man can get in for a shot and uh, Miles can get in for a shot and otherwise Wong isn't doing much. Wong could like remove a condition on Amazing Spider-Man I guess. That doesn't like Eh. Right, so here we see the wheat cakes right, so it does mean that miles has a little bit more uh, room for his health also to not get dazed and that uh, amazing gets to do some stuff so here we're gonna see amazing go move and attack once um popping all webbed up first um otherwise the web the web swing would have been the other alternative but this way it does slow all of my models well all, all of the ones in that area right so it's gonna slow three models um which is annoying 
of course. All right, Pyro, uh, Black Bolt, and Miss Marvel. And then uh, Amazing Spider-Man is going to go for uh, his uh, Builder into uh, Black Bolt. I'm thinking if I sacrifice, I end up just taking it and boosting my defense. Um, similar logic a little bit, right? If um, Black Bolt dazes, I have like Pyro that has some counterplay and I get priority. And um, if he doesn't daze, then I get more power. <laughs> and um, he doesn't get his momentum trigger, which is makes life easier for me. If he had, um, he would have probably dazed Miss Marvel, which would have been annoying, right? But even if he dazes Miss Marvel, um, I would get Black Bolt to try to um, daze uh, Amazing Spider-Man and Pyro. Right, so it would have options to just like retaliate with the days and then uh, get the cubes back. Right, so now all webbed up is online, so all my soul models take extra damage. My opponent can potentially also add extra souls on models with um, the leadership and or displace my models that have souls by removing it and uh, push placing them within one. Um, which is something uh, to take into consideration. In this case, uh, I don't think Amazing Spider-Man really had a good one to do. Now we're gonna transfer another power to Beast off of Miss Marvel, I believe I did. And then uh, use Sam to charge. Do check uh, a few things with uh, Amazing Spider-Man. I tried to block um, a spider tracker, but it's unlikely I can, right? Uh, like, he's got so much options. Uh, I do make it a bit more awkward, but not enough. I don't think it was possible. So he's gonna get back onto the objective, but now we're 1-1 on it. And I shoot Wong. The goal here is to daze Wong. If I daze Wong, I pretty much uh, guarantee I score the two um, secures on that side because I can just move someone else onto the one with Amazing Spider-Man, like say Pyro, and then I have two bodies to his one. So I just check to see if I push him, uh, if he's outside of range, he would be. So he takes one on the first shot. I get two successes on the second one, he blocks zero, so he takes the last life. I get to do the daze, um, which now means that I'm gonna score that secure, guaranteed. Here, uh, here I've got a plan. If Beast doesn't get dazed by Miles, I can go, basically, um, here I've got an interesting setup where Beast can potentially, right, Go over here still and with his uh builder uh not his builder sorry is either with the spender like move spender miles and then move again or like double move and throw and try to score this way so i was looking at pyro um i realized pyro is slowed so like it makes it pretty simple uh pyro just will be the guy to go into that secure mm. i did not being so then i guess i could have like used black bolt for this and then sent pyro on the other side for firewall shenanigans against like gwen maybe or something but he is slowed um so we just go there no oh, i know i'm scoring these two secure so i'm scoring five we just refire while <laughs> amazing spider-man so he's slowed for next round if I don't win. So I know now that I've got one to five guaranteed points again this round and one beast still has, is the wild factor and could potentially score me two or one or zero depending on what happens. Um, here my opponent's gonna make a, uh, a game losing mistake in the end, right? Here they should really go with Gwen. Like at the, if they identify the threat of beast, they can go with Gwen, right? Um, can go with Gwen, Gwen move, slow me, and then um, webline me maybe, and then like hit me, move back to their objective. And then because of how webbed up, it would be six dices on that spider technique, uh, and then move back onto the objective if they want, or like move, or in, what I would do is probably move here, web, web line, uh, slow, and then like move over here, and then web, web line one of these guys off, right? This would be pretty good and would deny me one point over here and uh, deny and then uh, they would score one less but deny me one and right now denying me victory points is more important because if they want to try to win uh, they're gonna need to do it next round probably. And then deal some damage to beast um, you know so like if Gwen does the if Gwen does this moves here drags beast over here spider techniques Close him, spider techniques, moves here, and then pushes, say, Pyro off of this objective. Like something along those lines. Uh, maybe even Sam, if possible, if she has a power for it. Like if she deals one damage to B, she can even push both, right? If she pushes both, uh, we'd see Pierce Cat get back this objective, uh, make B super awkward, and that could be massive. 
because then they could look at scoring. And then Beast is in super, a super dangerous spot versus Miles, so instead of trying to score more points, I have to run away. And then Miles can maybe still hunt me down or undown like Miss Marvel or something, right? Because pretty sure Miles could like move. I might be wrong, right? But I think Miles, this position could like move, web, swing, and then like hit Miss Marvel. Now, now it's awkward because I've got no one left to activate after Black Bolt goes. Like then I sacrifice into Black Bolt to limit the damage. I still lose a cube instead of two. But like, you know, like there's there's some uh, there's some counterplays. Sadly, my opponent is not going to spot that and is just going to pass with Miles staying where he is. And that is game losing because now Beast, um, unless, unless Gwen manages today's Beast, Beast just like goes over here, right? Move, move and then throw him away and score my last victory point. So there was a line for my opponent to um, get the game to go longer. Would it have won them the game? Uh, maybe not, but it would have put them in a better spot, right? Because here we see Gwen moves and does the thing on Beast, but um, they, they go from the dragon to Spender, but they could have also um, pulled me first, but uh, I think I mentioned it earlier, but this was one of the first games of uh, Pure Scat with Amazing Spider-Man's leadership. So even if it was the right call to use it, if you're not used to it, you might not see some lines because it's one of the hardest leaderships in the game to use. Bit of a mishap with the terrain, but like the push, they're not supposed to change angle, right? So he's gonna reput it. Then I'm just gonna clip to the terrain. It's fine. He's still gonna, you know, be in range to strike me. But yeah, what would have been interesting is slow me, and then instead he goes for the spender. Uh, understandable because if he doesn't daze beast, um, he doesn't have that many other good options. But I think a spider technique plus slow um, could have been good because you can then do a uh, display where you go over here. And then, um, the very release displays one of these models that would have been even better before, um, before doing the play with Miles. Like, if he had done this, um, I would have thought Black Bolt and Beast left. Then Beast is, like, forced to run, and, uh, Black Bolt can, like, maybe offset some of the damages, but it's, like, not obvious. Right, if Beast is at the same spot but slow and Miles hasn't activated yet, I have to, like, run away with Beast. And then I'm not winning this round for sure. Um, anyways, so he goes for the spender. Um, if he deals damage and like dazes me, like he's got a chance of dazing me with the spender. Um, he didn't slow me first though, so like less dices. Um, I'm gonna spend my root, my token for three re rolls. I wanna save my power if possible, right? Because I get two double move. Get within one, pro miles. Like I mentioned him that if you had like slow me, yeah, I just throw him and then I end up winning 16 to my opponents uh one for this round so 16 to 10. yeah and uh, that's the end of the game uh i hope you found it interesting uh with like the little lag i think this is a great example of how to uh collapse right um right when i had my two models over here right that then just uh went that way right and you see uh you can see right with beast i went this way for run around just to like gain space, right? Move like over here. And I went back this way. Because once you've got the extract lead, that's the kind of stuff you can do. You can like uh, shift to a side and then go back the other side. Because I forced is, but like with Miles, he had some counter play, but like he can sneak on, sneak in those kind of plays. Um, with Sam, I got to uh, airlift uh, Pyro, which got him to do his insane beam. And I got to threaten that back point to score. All right, so I prioritize, um, kind of focusing on the side with more extracts got to steal the extracts and then play a bit of a positional game so again yeah, uh that's it i hope you've learned something uh watching it sadly my week four game was not recorded uh, which is sad because it was an insane game <laughs> Uh, it finished 17, 6, 17, 16, I think, for me, or something like that. On like, uh, it was crazy. Um, super close game against a local player. I won, so I went four to 4 0, and he went to 2 2, which is super sad because he's an amazing player. Um, and it was like one of the best games of MCP I've ever played. But yeah, uh, I'm, I've got the game round five recorded, so it's gonna be up soon also uh, but yeah that's it for this one so yeah uh always identify those plays right for uh collapsing and thanks for watching <laughs>